What is happening with cryptocurrencies and should we worry? First of all, uh, this is a combination of almost a perfect storm that uh, generates from headlines and from some uh, margin calls and financing requirements. Uh, starting with the headlines, we read that in China they're starting to crack down on mining of cryptocurrencies. That is something that has been going on since 2017 in any case. However, it is absolutely logical that some investors try to take uh, profits and in very volatile and very illiquid in some cases assets like cryptocurrencies, the sell-off be uh, becomes very aggressive. Second, uh, the uh, season of tax payments in the United States has led a lot of investors to try to take some profits and generate enough cash to pay their taxes. That is also uh, very evident in investors that have uh, taken some of the money from 2020 savings into cryptocurrencies, and that generates a further part of the sell-off. Third, the old margin calls. A lot of investors bought into the Elon Musk, Tesla, JP Morgan headlines, saw cryptocurrencies rising dramatically, and they bought in cryptocurrencies with leveraged positions. As the level of debt rises in those investments, while the asset doesn't go up as much as the investor expected or goes down, margin calls start to trigger. And what happened was also that element of margin calls. Let's remember, cryptocurrencies are not currencies yet. To be money, they need to be a reserve of value, a, a mean of payment, and a unit of measure. They are not yet those. They are startup currencies, and we need to understand that that means very volatile financial assets, just like almost any startup in technology or in biotech, you name it. We need to be also aware of the fact that these headlines are going to drive on the way up a lot of speculative investment and on the way down a lot of panic selling. So what investors need to be aware of is volatility, is the gradual process of being, uh, of becoming real money, and also the risk that governments try to limit their potential as a contender against fiat currencies. Those things have to be embedded and incorporated in the investment process of those that look at cryptocurrencies. And if they don't understand the level of volatility that they're getting into, then they should be more uh, looking at assets in which the volatility is lower. But y you need to incorporate that kind of view and that kind of understanding of something that is fascinating from a macroeconomic and from a monetary perspective, but will be very volatile. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave your comments below, and keep defending freedom. Thank you very much.